today we're going to talk about um, InDesign. Um, I know we don't have a project using it, but I wanted to give you guys a, just a kind of a quick introduction today. It may go into the next class. We'll see. Um, it's definitely a program you guys are going to want to learn and master if you continue in the world of, of graphics and design here. And um, it, it's really a layout program. So it's, it, they call it a desktop layout um, designed to put files together. So we've created um, assets, pictures and images in Photoshop, or we've done illustrations in um, Illustrator, and we need to put it together. And typically it's InDesign used for a multi-page document uh, type of project. So um, I'm just gonna go through a quick couple quick things with InDesign, kind of give you some of the capabilities and, and, and how it is useful to you. And um, again, there's of course a bazillion um, tutorials online for this. Um, Terry White, again, is a good one to look, look at in YouTube on how to get going with InDesign. Um, and along with Adobe, they have a bunch of stuff on their site. So, um, and it's part of the creative suite, so you guys should all have InDesign now. And um, it is basically the standard that everyone uses for um, putting projects together, items together. So if you've had a form or anything like that, it was done there. If you start to look at um, any kind of book, publication, magazine, newspaper, that's all done in InDesign. Um, so it, it is a, a very diverse and versatile program. So um, let me get my InDesign opened here and share my screen and we will take it from there. So. One second while I get that share screening going. Okay. All right, so we should be seeing now InDesign on your screen. I'm gonna make a couple adjustments so I can see what I need to do here. Or mine. All right, so everybody should be seeing InDesign on their screen. And if you're having problems, let me know. Um, I got the chat window open now too. All right, so um, as you open InDesign up, it's going to look very similar to your other um, Adobe products. These are recent projects that I've had open, and um, if you've restarting, you can go here. But we're going to go with new, create a new. I'm just gonna make one simple document, eight and a half by 11 we're gonna do. Um, again, you have presets that are in here. You can make your adjustments here, vertical, horizontal format, the number of pages, um, columns if you want, margins. I'm gonna give it um, two columns and my margins are gonna be at a half inch. We're gonna leave it there with that. And I'm gonna hit create. So what this is doing now is gonna be making a four page document and let's get this opened. No, if it doesn't crash, it should not take this long to open. Okay, there we go. All right, um, so this is InDesign and um, again, it is designed for layouts. So if you see, if I scroll down, we've got basically a cover, two inside pages, and then a back of a publication. So we're just gonna start with the one layout. Now, um, again, this is not really a drawing program. Um, you can do some very, very basic stuff, but you know, this is really not the tool to draw in. Illustrator or Photoshop would be the programs for that. So. Um, it's obviously heavy text, so I'm gonna start with my text tool. And these, these tools are the same, you guys know this, select, direct, select. Um, this is a gap tool, this, we'll show you that later. Um, but we're gonna start with the type tool. And there's really two type tools, a uh, type tool and a type on a path. And I'm gonna just do the type tool. And let's say I wanna put a, um, a story here, an article. And I'm just gonna basically draw out my text box. Um, and then I'm going to put in some text. So let me really quickly go to the internet 
and grab some, some text. Um, bear with me one second. Let me get a new page going on. So I, I am, let me just see, here we go. So I'm just grabbing an article off the um, New York Times website just as an article. I'm, what I'm really doing is I, I need text. So I'm just trying to grab some text that I can utilize in this article. All right, so I'm gonna just paste this in. Again, 99% of the time, you're gonna get the copy um, from your clients um, but you know if you need to write it obviously you guys can write so here is just some some text that i i grabbed from the internet um, and much like your other programs um, you have your character over here where you can choose your type and i'm gonna pick something um yeah which let me just Go with times, just keep it simple. Times New Roman, I'm gonna go with regular. Okay, so we have our type here. I can highlight, I can, again, scale it. Um, again, 14 points typically a little large for just printing, but um, like, so if we're gonna do a magazine, 14 would be big. Typically magazines are gonna be in the 10 to 12 point um, area. So I'm gonna push it back to 14. And what we want to do is um, go through and we can, again, format this. We have the paragraphing tools here. We can justify, um, center, uh, center again, right, left, justify. I'm going to do uh, force justification. And um, again, it comes with some of the uh, formatting that was in the prior document. Command plus, we'll zoom in like all the other programs. I'm just gonna hit a return, get that gap away. And here, um, that's actually a new paragraph. So I'm gonna, because I'm doing the justified, I'm gonna give a space between paragraphs. Um, so I don't have to indent. You can indent um, and you can preset this on how the indent, how far that would be, but we're gonna just keep it as flush left and flush right. And I wanna add a title. So I could either add the title to this paragraph or in this case, I'm going to move this paragraph down a little bit. So I have room here for another text box. I'm gonna add a text box up here for the title. And we're just gonna title it Whistle Blower. Cause that's what the story is about. I'm gonna go to my type here and we did times. Um, it will typically show up in your, um, what you used, used most recently should be at the top here. Okay, so we are at times here, bold. Okay. And I'm going to make that larger because we are at the title here. Pump that up to 24 point. And I'm going to um, let it out or, or, or track it out a little bit. So I'm gonna track it here just to give it a little bit more space between letter forms. And we've got a title. So here is a title. And again, I can make that adjustments here for the text. And you can imagine if we had this text going on and on, and I'm gonna actually copy this text again. So I wanna show you what happens and why this thing is really, really good. I'm gonna just keep pasting. And as you see, as I paste it, it it gave me a little red train, a red, little red mark down here in the bottom. And what that is saying is there's text that goes outside of your text box. So it's kind of a little warning that it does. Um, it doesn't print, but it's for you to see as you're previewing it. So what that means is I need to extend my text. Now I'm gonna put a secondary text box over here. And again, you can preformat this, um, set these things up as um, templates and have everything pretty well set. So I want to take my text from here to this 
box on the right. I'm going to use my select tool. I'm going to click on the um, little red plus, and you see it loaded up into my cursor some text. And when I drop, click on this text box, it will put it in over here. Okay, so it just dumped it all in. Now I'm going to go back to this text box and I'm going to add some more text. And I extend that. So what if I put it here? If I put additional text here, as you can see, as I put it in, it automatically flows it over to the other text box. Okay, so this is really kind of the, the beauty of this program is it allows you to take text and have it flow. Um, and then I can extend this to additional pages if need be. Okay, so I'm gonna make another text box over on this page. And again, going real quick and real rough just to demo. And we're just gonna say that is a full length box. I'm gonna click on the thing. We got it loaded, click on this text box and it put it there. There's only another paragraph in there. And I'm gonna drop in some more text so you can see it kind of extends down. Now, the beauty of this also is um, if I change my text box, it will continue to push things. So if I do this, you see it pushed it down into the text box on the second page. Um, you cannot do this in any kind of way in Illustrator and or um, Photoshop. Okay, so, and you imagine we've already got just a couple pages of text and how hard this would be to format. So um, this is really a place where you can text format and get things um, going. And, and it will allow you to get incredibly complex and diverse. And you've of course seen newspapers and magazines and, and they're all being done with this. Um, you can add in things of color. You can add in a, a little, I don't know, let's just say you wanted a bar of color. You can do these kinds of um, things in here. So there's preset colors here. And then you can um, add new color groups and then you can make up new swatches. Okay, I'm just gonna give that a, a color there. We wanna flip that to be the box color. Um, so that was done and that's pretty nice. But let's say we wanna add a photograph and I'm gonna pull this up and I want this to be here. Um, and I gonna want this to have text box. I can push this to here. And then I wanna put a photo in. So I'm just gonna, again, check a box here. It's just a rectangular frame tool. And I'm just gonna put this here. And I'm gonna import a picture to that. So um, file place. I'm going to um, go to my desktop, find a picture, desktop photo. There we go. And boom, it put it in. Now you're going to go, wow, that picture is pretty big. It's not showing up well. Um, <clears throat> this is where we can align. So down here for frame fitting, we can adjust how we want that picture to fit in there. Um, this fills the frame proportionally. This will fit the contents proportionally. This will fit the contents to the frame, which means it will stretch it this will fit the frame to the contents, which means it'll get the picture box larger. Um, so I'm gonna fill the frame proportionally. And there we go, we have now the alligator, actually it's a crocodile, in our um, thing. If we want to add a stroke example to um, the outside of the frame, we can do that here. And quickly we've laid out a short little article um, with InDesign. Now, again, the beauty of InDesign is it has some things where we can take the text and have it run around um, columns of text. And we can then take the picture and we're here selected on the photograph and move the picture around inside our text box. We can still scale it as if we need to. I'm gonna hold the shift key as I move on that. We can now move this box around. As you can see, it is intact. So um, it, it's really quite, quite um, effective. Now, 
let's say I want this photo bigger. I'm going to scale this box up and we see the picture is not fitting right. I'm going to um, enlarge it now, but now we're covering up text. So here I can do what they call a text wrap, which will let the um, text wrap around the box, okay? Um, so I'm gonna click on that, and as you can see, it now allowed the text to move around the box. Now we have to give it a little bit more cushion, um, and we, will, we, we can do that um, by clicking the more options here, and we can see these are options, nothing. And I really want extra room on the top and the, the right here. I'm not worried about the bottom because there's nothing there. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of click up, and then I'm gonna add a over here. So now you can see we've added a margin around our photograph. And what's kind of cool is no matter where I move this photograph now, it will move the text. Oops. It will move the text around. Okay. So um, it really gives you a lot of adjustments um, with your, your images and with your work to get quite specific with it. Um, you can also, things you can do in InDesign, you can adjust the um, hyphenization. You can see we have some hyphens going on in here. Oops, where do we go? We can, so we can take those away. We can preset that to be certain ways. We can also um, preset styles, okay? So if we decide we're gonna be doing these articles and we're gonna be, we wanna make sure it's all the same text. Once we set the text up in a way that we want, meaning we've adjusted the letting, um, the tracking, and everything else that we want to do, the typeface, the color, uh, we can then save it as a, a, um, a preset and be able to come back to it. And that's called a paragraph style and or a character style. So those are up here. Right now there's nothing in it because I haven't created any, but we can create styles. And this is where you save a lot of time. So you can imagine if you're doing a, a I don't know, an annual report and it's gonna be you know 20 or 30 pages potentially. Um, once you set it up in the beginning, really all you do is have to click on something. So you can drop in text that comes from another program. Uh, they're gonna typically type it up in Microsoft Word or something along those lines. And then you can just simply with a click, highlight it and click it, and it will change the style to be your, that you have set up. So you're not having to figure out what was it? Oh, it was Times Roman, it was regular, it was 12 point, with a 14.4 uh, letting um, with, with no tracking. You can adjust these and as you do it once, it's preset. Likewise, um, if you set up your paragraph styles, meaning it's justified, unjustified, um, it really, really works out well. Um, other things you can do is a drop cap. Let me see if I get that down here. <coughs> and you can indent. Um, you can change your caps, all caps, no caps. Um, what else we want to do in here, just real quick. Um, you can elongate certain type. So I'm going to pull that up. Okay, so you can see it stretched out that T a little bit. Okay, so these are all adjustments that you can make here in um, InDesign, which are quite quite uh, cool, right? Again, you can't typically do this in, in any other kind of program. That was stretched there to 100%. Well, there we go. Um, so again, this is a really, really strong program. Now, again, you're gonna do the images in Photoshop. You're gonna do any kind of illustrations in Illustrator, and then you're gonna bring that in here with the text that your client is gonna supply you with. Um, but that's just kind of what this program does. So if you're like, what is InDesign? And what does it do? And why do I need it? Um, had we been in session with, um, been in class this semester at, at, the, at, the, at the school, we probably would have gotten into this. It's, it just gets a little bit more complicated and very, very difficult to just kind of quickly go through this on the screen without um, being able to 
help you directly. But um, like I said, it's something you're going to want to figure out. I would add it to your bucket list of items that you can um, do and learn. And um, I, I would, um, you know, look at the um, look at that to um, be using. Okay, um, so check out InDesign. I think you're going to um, like it. Again, it's going to be one of those programs you're going to start to use um, as you get more into um, graphic design. Okay. Um, all right. So questions. So what we're looking at for next Thursday <laughs> is your finished um, arcade machine. So um, keep working on that. A couple people have sent over some um, uh, progress reports or progress of how it's going. So please get those done. Um, again, for next Thursday, we're going to be looking at um, Tuesday. We're probably, I think we're going to do a little quick light, light room just so you guys can see that as to what that program is and um, how you might start to utilize that as you um, develop and work as a designer and photographers and such. So um, again, next Thursday, if anybody is um, still planning to add drop, um, or I should say drop add is obviously too late. Um, you can still do that. I believe it's, they call it a WD or DW, or there's some special thing they've got set up because of the, um, the virus. So if anybody is planning to do that, please do that. I'll send out an email with that. Um, almost finished the grades and I'll get that up to you. I'll send an email out with, um, stuff with your student number on it and you can look at your, your progress. I think I've got most everybody's stuff, but if you haven't gotten something to me, um, project from earlier this semester, um, please do. Again, we're looking for the um, arcade machines for next Thursday. I think I have a, a 12 noon deadline on that. So we can um, get those and take a look at those next Thursday for the end of class. All right, questions at this point, guys. Guys are always so quiet. They're always on mute. I assume you're still there. Are we going to be using the um the program you just showed us for any other projects for the rest of the year? No, no. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick overview as to um, what InDesign is, so you can start to kind of learn it on your own. Look at the tutorials online. Um, so no, no. We're just our our last project is the video machine that we're doing, uh, which we're you can combine Photoshop and Illustrator and a combination of those two to make. Um, again, as an introductory class, we're just trying to get you up to um, what is the Adobe and some of the software. And then you'll, you'll, there are complete classes on InDesign. So I don't wanna overwhelm you, especially here at the end of the semester, but I want to let you know what it is so you can start to tinker and play with it. Um, so you'll actually be ahead when you do take a class that's gonna be focused more on InDesign and they're, I'm not sure the titles, but they're probably, it'll say desktop publishing, that's what they usually are called. Um, I'd have to look at the catalog to see exactly what they are. All right, cool, thank you. Cool, other questions, guys? Um, cool, yeah, you're welcome, I'm glad to give you, and if you have a question about InDesign, let me know, and, I, and I'll look at it, maybe we'll do a little bit more on um, Tuesday, because it is, it is a pretty valuable program, I do use it a lot. Um, Again, really, it's, it's InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator that I'm using on a regular basis uh, from a traditional graphic standpoint. Um, so, you know, get those down if you're going to stay in the, the graphics world. Um, and even if you're not, I mean, they're, they're, InDesign is a great program for laying out, I don't know, let's say a postcard that you're going to print uh, for a show or exhibition you're going to be doing. Um, that it really is a great program for that. It gives you the control that, um, and, it, and I'm sure if you started playing with um, some of the type things in, in Illustrator, it kind of works, but it gets a little wacky sometimes. And you're gonna find once you start to use InDesign, oh wow, this is so much easier to use. And, and Photoshop, obviously, a few things, you can do a title, you can do some really, really basic type, um, but I definitely would never use it for any kind of layout, any type of, of paragraph of type. It's just, it's just too clunky there too. Okay. All right. All right. Anything else guys? So work on the um, arcade machines.
Um, if you have want to send me stuff or have questions, let me know. Um, we'll get those going. And again, we're going to have those turned in for next Thursday by noon. You can send me a PDF of those. So it, it'll be a PDF of your file flat and then a, a photograph of your mocked up machine. Okay. okay. Anything else, guys? Good. All right. If there's nothing else, um, have a great weekend. Um, enjoy. Um, again, continue to be safe, guys. Let's not, you know, let's get this lockdown done as soon as we can. And hopefully, we'll we'll be all through this soon. Um, all right. And if there are other questions, send me an email, and we'll go from there. Thank you all, and have a great and wonderful afternoon. All right. Have a good one.